Hello, everyone, and welcome to another live stream Sunday. Welcome to you all. I want to say thank you for the people that have been here already writing comments. Blessings to you all. I hope my videos, my live streams are helping you guys manifest and reach whatever goals it is you want in your life. Now, this is very important to me that you guys understand what I'm putting out there and that you are seeing results. So again, I want to say thank you to so many of you that are here. I want to thank you to a lot of people that's been here with me from the beginning. And we are all on this journey together. And I just send blessings to all of you. Today, I want to speak about a topic that if you are trying to be a deliberate creator, because we all must understand that you are a creator regardless if you are aware of it or not. That is your that is your blessing from the universe. That is who you are. But in order for you to be a deliberate creator, you have to know certain things because I get so many people that write me and say they're doing excellent and other people that come and they said they're not. So today we're going to discuss this and I'm going to give you the one and only secret that you must know to create whatever it is in your life. Now, if you're new to this channel, I want you to know that this is a manifesting law of attraction channel that basically gives you information in an easy to understand manner so that you can learn, put it into action and see results. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and tap the bell. And for all of you that already know, don't forget to like and tap the bell. <laughs> OK, if you're not getting notifications of my videos, then maybe you did not tap the bell. So go back and check on that to make sure it's there. But for now, we're going to start and we're going to get going so that you guys can actually learn and put these things in action. Now, again, one thing that I do want to mention today is whatever you guys get from this channel, this is an adult channel, but I do ask you to. Start teaching your family members, your youngsters of how it is that they can create their lives. Because a lot of people are not speaking to their children and telling their children what the schools are not going to tell you. I don't know why this is at this day and age, but a lot of the schools are not telling children what it is they need to know to make it. I do not care who you are. Every child should know universal laws and they should know how to create their lives. Okay, so now let's get going. Again, if you need anything, information about my world of metaphysics, everything is in the description. And I, again, I want to thank all of you for the support you have been showing to this channel and much love to all of you guys. Okay, so now the secret to manifesting. And again, I have my notes here. And I want to make sure I cover a lot of areas to help you. And again, we're going to try to keep this as short as possible. So again, um, we're, we're going to do some of the comments later on, but I'm trying to cut back. So a lot of the good mornings, I want to say good morning to you guys now. I want to say good morning to all of you from all over the world right now, because I really want to keep this video short. Sometimes it's um, going on too long, but I do understand this is a live stream. So now, why this video today? Why this live stream? A lot of people say that, you know, I've been trying everything, the bay leaves, the cinnamon. I've been trying everything, affirmation, scripting, and nothing seems to work. The law of attraction don't work for me. A lot of people will say, Carlton, hello, 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 and thank you for being here. Blessings to you with the donation, and thank you for the compliment. Hello, beautiful. Hello to you. <laughs> so now... People are saying, Yvette, it's just not working. The law of attraction not working. And then I get some people that write me and they say, Yvette, I'm cursed. I'm like, wow, I am cursed. I'm like, wow, that's a way to be when you're saying you're cursed. Okay, so I get all these comments all the time. Um. Again, they say they do everything from the Baileys, from the scripting to the cinnamon sticks to to the prayer. And it seems like nothing seems to work for these people. Now, 
Why other people come to me and they say, Yvette, and they don't even know. They come to me and they say, Yvette, um, I started this job and I'm having problems. Then they go to the next job and they say, Yvette, I'm having problems. Or they have problems with the family members and problems at the job and problems with the children. And they don't get the point. Okay. So we're going to talk about this because whatever it is you're seeing in your life, aha, you created it. Okay. You are using the law of attraction, universal laws, and you are creating whatever it is you see in your life. And this is the truth, everyone. We all came here to learn. So no one is without exception, including me, including some of your biggest gurus out there. No one is let no one is off let off of this lesson or we would not be here. Now the next thing is what is manifesting and what is the law of attraction? I want to clear this up because a lot of people say, well, Yvette, we're going to be doing manifesting and the law of attraction. You guys understand, law of attraction is a universal law. Manifesting is the result of the law of attraction. What you put out, cause and effect, is what you get. So when you say, I am manifesting, you are using the law of attraction and trying to be a deliberate creator. So you manifested this if you knew it or not, but if you know if you know what you're doing and you're getting things deliberately, then you are a deliberate creator, okay? You are deliberately manifesting something in your life using the law of attraction. Again, remember, the, what you get when you're manifesting something is a result of the law of attraction, which is a universal law. So I want to make sure everyone understands this, okay? Now, what is the biggest secret to manifesting whatever it is that you want. And I want you guys to stay with me because I need you guys to really understand this. If you're serious about changing your life, you guys need to invest in yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the information you're getting from my videos could be a 300-page book. How many of you guys have read books to 300 pages just to get a message that could be that could be given to you within the first 30 pages or the first 20 pages. So here you are getting within a few minutes information that can very much well be a book. The secret to manifesting anything in your life is consciousness, you guys. And don't leave because you guys have to understand this. It's consciousness. Everything you see, um, experience, do, is consciousness. You guys have to understand this. Your consciousness is all that you are. We can all step in the same room at the same time, and each of us will view that room differently. Why? Because it's each one of us, our own consciousness concerning that thing. When you see something happening in your life, something not happening in your life, or you hit the jackpot. It is consciousness that is getting you there. Everything you see from your animals to the grass, to the trees, to yourself, everything is consciousness. And you guys have to understand this. Whatever you see, believe, and do in life is consciousness. And that's all that there is. Your level of consciousness. Now, people might say, well, I bet um, um, my level of consciousness for money is that I'm going to be rich. Ha ha, then why aren't you? Why aren't you going towards that goal? I'm not saying it's going to pop up today or tomorrow, like instantly, but why aren't you going towards that goal? Why are you writing me saying you're losing money? Then your level of consciousness is not at that state of creating wealth, creating being a millionaire, or creating 500,000 a year or 300,000 a year. That is not where you are. Some of you may be making six figures and can't make it to the million dollar level. That is because your level of consciousness is not at the million dollar level. It is at the six figure, 100,000, 200,000 or the 150 level. You cannot find the, the soul of your life, the mate of your life. It's because there's something blocking you, which is your level of consciousness, which is your consciousness that is not allowing you to find that love of your life. You cannot be promoted at your job 
It's because of consciousness. Again, that is, you're not mixing, you're not combining the two. Your subconscious mind and your conscious mind is not connecting, is not be married, it's not coming together to create whatever it is you want in life. Now, listen, you guys, this is so important for you to know if you want to manifest whatever it is you want in your life. And I'm going to explain to you guys how this works and how you can change this for yourselves if you keep watching this video, okay? So consciousness at this point is all that there is. There is nothing else besides consciousness. What you believe about something is your consciousness. What you believe about a situation is your consciousness. You have a problem at your job. That is because of your conscious level and how you are looking at it. You, somebody could say something to two of us. We both might interpret what they stated in different ways. It's because of our consciousness. Everything is consciousness. I don't care what it is. When we go from your home, your car, your life, your health, it's all consciousness. And once you guys understand this, you guys can create and become whatever it is you want in life. Now, the thing is, is that when something is not going well in your life, this is what I would say to myself is, what is my level of consciousness concerning this thing? You might even want to take a paper and pen out and say, what do I truly believe about this? And look into what has happened to you in the past as a child. Did you have money growing up? Did you have friends? What is it when you were younger that may have created this level of consciousness in you that you might not be aware of? Okay, dig deep inside. And then once you discover what it is, say to yourself, is this true now? What has happened in the past? Is this true now? You know, and that is the where you're going to relieve some of this from you. OK, now ask yourself again, why, 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 why are these things happening? What is it that I believe about myself? And is it true at this moment or am I creating this myself? And most of the time you will find that you are creating this yourself. OK, and we're going to talk you guys about this and how this can how we can help you guys um, change whatever it is going on with your life. And again, I got some points here and I want to make sure I'm covering everything. OK, now, one of the biggest problems that people have is with money, is with their career, is with love and with health. Again, each of these areas is a replica of what it is you internally think about yourself. And that boils down to consciousness. Now, what is it that I would do to change this if I had a belief about myself? I would be patient with myself, first of all. Patience is the key. Because when you are desperate or worried, you are absolutely attracting what it is that you don't want in life. So now, what is it that I would do? The secret is your consciousness must match your subconscious mind. Once your subconscious mind take a hold of what it is that you want, there is no stopping you. If your consciousness says you are a millionaire, subconsciousness, state you are a millionaire, you will be that millionaire. Everything you do as you take action will lead you in that path. Everything will work out. The right people will be placed around you. The right things will happen. If things don't work well, it's because the universe knows you need to be somewhere else to get where you need to go. When you have, have impregnated your subconscious mind to believe what it is that you want, to state that is what it is that you will have, it has to work. It is law. Again, then you will manifest all the things that you want in your life. Or let me correct this. You will manifest everything concerning that particular thing relating to your consciousness. Now, you've got to remember, you guys, there is millions of things in your life concerning your consciousness. The way you see yourself is a level of consciousness. 
The way you see your house is a level of consciousness. The way you see your job is a level of consciousness. Or every single thing. It could even be when you run into a particular person, there is a level of consciousness. What do you believe about that person? Do you like this person? Do you want to be around this person? This is another level of consciousness. So throughout your day, you have thousands and thousands of levels of consciousness that you encounter every single day. Now, when it comes down to money, money is another level of consciousness. And I'm going to tell you this right now. There's different areas to money. You might have a level of consciousness of creating money, but you might have another level of consciousness stating that you lose the money just as fast as you create it. Again, you guys, this is a belief you feel about yourself. You may feel all guys cheat, all guys are, dishon are not honorable. You might feel the women are the same. That is a level of consciousness, okay? Once you change this level of consciousness, everything has to change. It has to. If you feel like you're a failure, you will be a failure. If you feel like no matter what, you will be successful, you will be successful. But then again, you might not be when it comes down to love. It might not be when you get a house. You might get the worst neighbors. Whatever it is, every single thing you see in your life is based on consciousness. And that is the only thing that is going to move you from point A to B to Z is if you change your level of consciousness. If someone gets on your nerves, sit back and say, what am I doing to create this? What am I doing to have this in my life? When you see your children and your children are not doing what you want them to do, what do you feel? What do you believe about your children? Change you first and then see how the outside changes. Everything starts from within everyone. I, I get so many times people stating how this person did this to me. This person did this. My money disappeared. Somebody robbed me. Somebody did this. And I'm saying to myself, everything starts from within. Whatever it is you see in your life, you created it from inside, from an emotional level, and then you projected it outside in your physical world. That is all it is. I'm sorry, people might say, well, Yvette, what about people when they get raped? Listen, we are all here to learn a life lesson. And I believe in life lessons. I do. But at the same time, what is it that was bestowed on you? What happened in another lifetime? I cannot explain all these things because I am not God. I am a, I am a, I am a, a characteristic of God. God is inside of me. I am part of God but I am not the creator of this universe. I am the creator of my universe, of what I see in my life. So now when we talk about the levels of consciousness, remember you are part of a whole. God, the universe, Allah, Jehovah has created this whole entire universe. Everything that exists comes from um, comes from consciousness, God's consciousness. And believe me, you guys, we're not the only ones here. We're the only ones on this planet, but believe me, there's life other places. You are a part of this God. Everything that is in you is part of this God. And God has granted you the ability to create your life. You are the creator of your life. And you have to remember this. So now, what would I do when it comes down to money? First of all, I would say affirmations like money comes to me very easy and I use it great. I use it. I use it um, correctly. Money comes to me easy and I am full of abundance. I would say things like this every day. I am success. I am successful. Everything that I want materializes. Everything that I want, I am blessed because the universe blesses me. Whatever it is that you want in your life, I will do these things. And I'm going to give you a couple of extra things that you can use to change this. Okay. And it is very important. I tell people music is a very easy way of changing things around. If you are playing music, you can absolutely play music that Promote what it is that you want, what it is that you feel. You can play music like um, um, 
I've got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. I don't know if you guys understand this. Songs have a vibration and they can either uplift you or lower you. Whatever it is that you want, you can play songs like this and it will bring up your frequency to a happy state and it will also bring up your level of consciousness about that particular thing. So when you're talking about success, I love Midas Touch, okay? These are things that I'm telling you that you can do to change the way you believe. You can listen to um, binaural beats. You can listen to affirmations on YouTube every morning and every night stating that you are successful, you are prosperous. You can go to sleep at night listening to this stuff to, to, uh, to program your subconscious mind into believing what it is. If your subconscious mind keeps hearing these things, you will manifest it. Another thing, you get up in the morning, you state, I expect the best. I expect to be, do, and have the best. You look in the mirror, you say to yourself, Yvette, I love you. We are, we are creators. No, anything anyone else have in this world, I can have it too. We can have it too. We are creators. And as I step out this morning, I know whatever it is, is going in my favor and I am moving closer towards my destination. You speak boldly about what it is that you want as if it is already done, as if you put an order in with the universe and know it's already coming to you. These are the things that I would do. Another thing I tell people, and you guys know I told you this before, get pictures from Google of what it is that you want and post them all over your home. And when you pass by them, say, I know this is mine. I know I'm going to have this. I know it's already done. I know the universe is already blessing me. When you post these things and your eyes are seeing this every single day, your subconscious mind eventually is going to absorb it. Okay, the same way your subconscious mind absorbs an argument with somebody. And as soon as you see this person, you get revved up because you want to have because you're going to have an argument. The subconscious mind is already prepared. So if you put things out so that the subconscious mind will say, hey, look, Yvette, you're a success. You're successful. And this is the way it is. And no matter what it is you want to do, you will go in that direction. It's just that easy, you guys. But you guys have to stop looking on the outside for whatever it is that you want. You need to start focusing on the inside. Write yourself a letter thanking the universe for blessing you. In fact, write your subconscious mind a letter stating what it is that you want, stating what it is that you have, what you will have, and state it as if it is already done. Thank you, subconscious mind, for blessing me with success. At this moment, I am a very successful person. I see myself with my own business. I see myself with 10 staff. I see myself making $500,000 a year. I see myself as having a million dollars in the bank. I see myself, I see myself, I see myself. And you write yourself a letter. Read it three times a day once you write this letter. Write a list of whatever it is you want in life and place the most important at the top of the list and read the list every day, three times or two times a day, whatever it is. The thing is, everything I give you guys, no matter what it is, it is a tool used to program your subconscious mind. And that is where your level of consciousness is concerning every little thing you want in this world. You're burning a bay leaf. You wrote on that bay leaf what it is that you want. You held that bay leaf in your hand and programmed that bay leaf for what it is you wanted in your life. Then you burnt it and sent it out to the universe. Inside, you're saying, subconscious mind, I'm sending this to you and this is who we are. This is what I want. This is what I will have. No matter what, you're doing the 369 technique. You're writing over and over and over again in short statements what it is that you expect to have. What are you doing? You are programming your subconscious mind to place your level of consciousness concerning that particular thing 
at a certain level. And once your subconscious mind and your conscious mind meet and it's balanced, there is nothing stopping you. And you guys have to understand this. The biggest secret to manifesting anything in your life is your subconscious mind and your level of consciousness. What it is you believe about what it is that you want. And listen, if you don't see what it is that you want, that means you need to work on what you believe about that item. Don't write me and say, Yvette, I did scripting and it didn't work. Yvette, I did bay leaves. I put cinnamon in my bag. Hey, Yvette, I did this and I lost money. You lost money because you were not on the same level. And when you tried to do these things, you brought out those negative feelings inside of you. And that is what made you attract the negative. Because everything, every time you said, I want a million dollars, something inside from your past said, you know you can't have that. And what is the subconscious going to pay attention to? It's going to pay attention to those emotions, those feelings. And that is why you lost your money. It is just that simple. And listen, again, no one is without having to do this. Not me. I don't care who it is. When we look at our Bible, Jesus had to go and meditate and had to pray because he too was not without this. He had to do this too. He had to know who he is and what he believed in. And he spoke it. He spoke it. And this is what I'm telling you guys. Speak it. Speak it into existence. And the Bible is one of the biggest lessons, the biggest teaching tools that you could ever read. Basically, everything in the Bible is a lesson, everyone. And if you just understood this, you will open the doors to manifesting anything in your life. So what is it the biggest secret to manifesting? And that is consciousness. We have 1111 likes. I mean, 111 likes. I love it. We must be on the right vibration, you guys. We're on the right vibration because we have 111 sitting in front of us. So now, listen, consciousness is all that there is. No matter what it is you're seeing in your life, it could be down to your backyard, your grass burning up, whatever it is. Consciousness is all that there is in everything you see and create in your world. And once you impregnate your subconscious mind to believe in where it is you want to be, there is no stopping you. Play music, play music that represent what it is that you want. Watch films that basically people are successful and they remind you of yourself. Do these things, look in the mirror, speak to yourself and say, this is what I will be, do and have. This is my divine right. I create the life that I see around me. I create the universe that I see around me. My universe may not be what her universe is, but my universe is mine. And I am a creator. And this is the way I see my life. You can see the cup as half full or half empty. That's up to you. You can see your job as a nuisance or you can see it as a blessing for God that pays your bills, that pays for your cost of living. Gratitude will get you there and it will take you to the next level. God, I thank you for the job that I have. At this point, I'm able to pay my, my, my mortgage. I'm able to buy a new car. I'm able to send my kids to college. But God, I see more for myself. I am a creator of my life and I see myself being, doing, and having more. I expect myself to be successful. I expect myself to rise to the top and there is nothing stopping me. This is how you speak every single day. And before you know it, you will then start to believe that you are that person. You are that person that you're speaking about. You put notes all over the place. Sooner or later, you won't pay attention to those notes. Why? Because your level of consciousness and your subconscious mind has already um, accepted it and accepted it as being you. So you no longer see it anymore. It's there. You just don't pay attention to it because it's already done. These are the things that I am telling you that will help change your life and you will see the doors open up for you. Listen, I've always been saying to myself that I am successful. I've always been saying that I am powerful. I am successful from my teens. And no matter what I did, 
I always moved up the ladder. Even when I found difficulties, the universe always placed someone there or some situation there to bring me ahead, to bring me ahead of other people. It always did. And now I contribute that to how I believed about myself becoming successful. That is what I always thought of. And that is who I am. Yvette is success. Yvette has always been success and she always will be success. And this is how I need you guys to start thinking about yourself and instilling this in your children. So again, you guys, this is Yvette, the number one secret to manifesting anything. And that is consciousness. If you guys don't understand this, a lot of things in your life you will not get. I'm just telling you, Try the things that I'm saying. Start paying attention to what you're thinking. If you're thinking something that's not right, say to yourself, why did I say that? Is that true? Oh, no, this is not true. Let me change this and change it to something positive. This is what I'm telling you to do. And once you realize how all these things are happening, you will be set free and your life will change and you will become that business owner, that successful person at your job, that CEO, you find the love of your life, whatever it is, you gain greater health, whatever it is you want in your life, you will start seeing your life change because you have changed your level of consciousness of what it is you want in life. Again, nothing can happen unless you impregnate in your subconscious mind what it is that you want. And that will be your level of consciousness. You cannot be on 93.5 on the radio and want something on 105.2. It cannot work. It will not work. It is law. So again, this is Yvette from My World of the Metaphysics. Physics, if one of my world of metaphysics, if you want to learn um, manifesting techniques or anything about herbal magic or affirmations or scripting, please go to my homepage. I have a playlist there for every single category so that you guys can use it. I'm not telling you guys to use all these things. I'm telling you to find what works for you and use it. Again, this information could be in a 300 page book but you're getting it right here for free. So don't forget, if you like what I'm telling you, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Right now, I want to get to some of the comments. And again, we're going to keep this short so you guys can enjoy your beautiful day. Namaste. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And again, I want to thank Carl Atkins for being here today, giving me the beautiful blessings of hello, beautiful. I want to thank uh, someone else, Gabe, and that I love you. I love your name, Kat. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for being here and giving me a donation. I love it. I love it. A super chat or whatever. Okay. Um, so going back, I'm not going to say a whole lot to everybody with these things, but I want to thank the people that got here, that was here first this morning, already sending me messages. And I bless, I send blessings to everybody with their manifesting. Um, good afternoon to everyone. Again, good, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday to all the people around the world. We got people from all over the place. And I just want to say thank you for joining in. Um, I want to thank you about putting a cinnamon stick in the wallet. I was skeptical, a skeptic, a skeptical, but it actually works. Absolutely. I know that cinnamon works every time. That's why everyone use it. Um, thank you for loving my videos, everyone. Good morning. I caught you. Yes, you did catch live. So you're here. And listen, you're never late. I'm always live some way, somehow. Okay, Grand Rising. Hello, hello. I'm trying to teach my adult daughter. and She still doesn't believe. So I pray and manifest for her. Allow her to be her. Only thing you can do is pass the word and move on. The thing about it, when you try to convince somebody about something, it takes away from you, okay? So by trying to convince somebody of something, it basically makes, it takes the energy from you and makes you attract something different. So just state what it is, be an example, and then your daughter will come to you and say, how did you do it? Again, I want to thank Carlton Atkins for the donation, as always. Um, 
Happy half moon, a full moon. Yes, it is a full moon. Thank you. You must keep a positive attitude mindset when manifested. Absolutely. And if you don't, that's your level of vibration. If you don't, hey, look, you're you're you can't you can't be um mis miserable and want something to come into your life that's happy. You cannot want a million dollars and you think you only can make fifty thousand dollars. So again, think positive about whatever it is that you want. Um, peace and blessings to all of you. Not curse. I don't think sometimes that astral or genes um, generational trauma is hard to break through, but just keep focused on yourself. Listen, again, whatever you believe about yourself, whatever you believe that happened in your family, if that is what your consciousness level is at, that is where it will be. If you believe that your family have been cursed, then you will be cursed. Okay. And you guys have to be remember again, I believe in karma. But karma is your karma. If you believe that you have been cursed, then your karma is you put that out there. And this is the result. Okay. Um, blessings to everyone. Um, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Love, love, love. Blessings to happy full moon. Everybody's saying happy full moon. I love it. Um, Canaan Islands. I Blessings to you guys all. Hello. Hello from all over the world. Again, please tap that bell and like and subscribe. I hit the like and I am I tried to get the prices and services provided, but some of the tech problems, I'm not too sure what's going on. Um, love, love, much love to everybody all over the world again. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Hello to all the people that's going to be celebrating a birthday this, this month. Blessings to all you Pisces out there. <laughs> Okay, blessings. I thought of calling, but I didn't want to bother. Of one. Okay, I'm not too sure what that's about, but blessings to you. Yes, music is a healer. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, it's one of the things that I find to be one of the greatest blessings when it comes to manifesting. Playing music, finding music that resonate with you. Again, Midas touch. That's saying, hey, look, everything I touch turns to gold. Just imagine singing that song. I've got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. That is a powerful song. And there's so many like that. Um, there is music um, video called Money is Coming to Me. So upbeat. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I have to listen to you and have manifest so much, but for nine years have not been able to get a job. I am, I, I am asking um, God each day why, and I have three kids. Listen, change your level of consciousness. Change your belief about your situation. I just told you what to do. Get up every day and say, God, whatever somebody else has, I can have. Whatever it is I'm experiencing is not my reality. At this moment, I see myself as having a job. Not only a job, the best job. Making the amount of money that I want. And I thank you, God, for blessing me. As I take action moving, moving towards my dreams, I know it is already done. And I thank you, universe. And you step out boldly knowing that. And you play some songs like, I got the Midas touch. Okay? Queen, try looking within through meditation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Meditation is another way of opening yourself up. There is so many ways, everyone, that you can touch to manifest whatever it is that you want. Manifesting everything comes from within. And the biggest way of connecting with your inner self, of finding out basically what's going on with yourself is through meditation, is through speaking to your angels. Meditation can show you a lot about yourself and the traumas that you need to release. Okay, blessings to all of you again. Um, you didn't possibly be about, about oh, I was beginning to um, doze and you've given me another wake up. <laughs> okay, I've been doing even Reiki to take away and things I don't know. It, it, it is making my Mr. Lack job. I'm not too sure. Just wrote myself a beautiful letter. I love it. I will and have written a letter. This is true. I have the Money Mantra song. Um, I played a Money Mantra um, by Moonlight Scorpio. Thanks for sending messages and blessings out. My right and was itching and I was I manifested money and it came. Blessings to you. Blessing to you. A blessing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love this song. Blessings to you. How are you? 804 is here. Love it. Love it. You must keep your thoughts to yourself, though. Of course. And that's the main thing that I tell people. Keep your thoughts. Keep your 
keep your manifestations to yourself. That's another way of you releasing the energy that's within you. Once you manifest something, then people come in and ask you how you did it. That's when you tell them. You don't go seeking people. You don't go telling people. I want to let you guys know something about my YouTube channel. I don't promote it to my family. I don't promote it to my friends. You can see um, almost 300,000 subscribers at this point. I will tell you this. I may have five family members, six family members on the, out of the three, almost 300,000 subscribers. Nobody I promote my channel to. I keep my business to myself. If you're looking for my information, you will absolutely find me. That's how some of the family members have found me. So I am telling you, you keep your business to yourself. And when you do it and they ask you how, then you tell them. Okay. Um, yes, I create my life around me. Yes, gratitude. There's also some Tina Turner. Okay, love it. I want a thousand dollars a week. Blessings to you. Um, I got it, but I'm no longer. Uh, listen, blessings to you. Um, blessings to you, big time. Uh, my biggest block is with relationships. I grew up telling myself that no one like. Absolutely, that's something you're going to have to work on. Thank you. Um, thank you for the thousand dollar week. Blessings to you again with your blessings. I create my best realities. I love it here. My favorite channel. Blessings and thank you for being here. And listen, I love your name, Wealthy VTV. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you see how people are putting things out there that they love to do and they're manifesting? Again, these are things that are powerful, you guys. Um, thank you. Um, took a um, took a lot to change my mindset. Every day is a battle. It's a battle for everyone. Yes, this is a great channel. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Uh, I am at my dream job. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ain't no stopping us now. Absolutely. That's a song. Ain't no stopping us now. How can we speak to you? I do coaching and I do private lessons. I do readings. Everything is always in the description of every single video. Uh, same here. Blessings to you. Sound. Um, I'm trying to see where am I? Thank you. Shout out. Um, Kat, thank you. Shout out. Okay. I listened to Lisa Page. Listen, blessings to all of you guys. Tonight is a full moon. I thought it was yesterday. Laugh out loud. Over here, we already have a full moon. Yvette, thank you so much. I have been struggling since my mother died, um, sunk into a deep depression. Please use mirror work, okay? Living my life like it's golden. I love it. Um, what cinnamon sticks and what? I cannot tell you that. That's not part of what we're talking about. Um, thank you so much. I have been struggling since my mother died. Okay, um, also look up the barcode. It's a... a Medieval style music. Okay, have a great day. Thank you for teaching me the proper way to ask for blessings. Blessings you. Annette D. Cambry, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kat, for the donation. Um, I'm blessed and my family is blessed. Good afternoon. If you think you're fabulous, you are. Keep the positivity positivity flowing. I keep seeing 444. We're not talking about numbers today. Again, keep everything on the topic. And listen, Blessings to you all. People are writing 11, 11, 11. I got the Midas touch. Cat, thank you. Um, oh, thank you for the advice about passing on the message to someone that may not be ready for this. That's why I may end up feeling down or drained. Absolutely. Okay. I'm thankful. I'm, I'm a hard worker in February. I will book two Mary Kay parties this month. Blessings to you again, everyone. Do you mind sharing what you're doing to unblock that? I just told you, when it comes down to your conscious level, when it comes down to your conscious mind, I tell you, you have to change yourself. It's what you believe about yourself. If you believe yourself as being famous, you will be famous. If you believe yourself, I told you, I always kept repeating to myself and my teens that I would be successful. I visualized, I imagined myself as being successful. And for some reason, it always took me to the next stage. I always seen myself in my mind's eye as Reverend Ike was state of being successful. And I just always went in that direction. I want to thank Lovely Styles for the donation. Peace and blessings, sister. No peace and blessings to you for always being here. I got Ayana Nagma. I got Ayana Nagma Country S. Contra Contreras, thank you for the super chat. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. So many people 
um, been here giving me don the, giving donations. Annette, and we got Tamara McCarthy. Thank you for the donation. Annette DeCombre. Thank you, thank you, thank you. True, I keep my dreams and my goals to myself. Absolutely. Those asking about cinnamon, God, Google the video, you will learn. Again, I have a playlist and it's called Herbal Magic. You go right there. Cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, all of it's there. Basil, whatever you want. Every type of herbal magic is there for you, everyone. Uh, winner, winner, turkey dinner, my phrase. I love it. I love it. Hi, I'm new. Hope I learned more from you. Absolutely. Thank you for joining the family. Okay. Thank you for joining the family. If you subscribe. <laughs> Are you saying use mirror work to get past depression of my mother? Absolutely. Mirror work, prayer, meditation are some of the most powerful things that you can use. Hopono, Hopono. I got a video on that. That also is something that you can use. Okay. Is the universe the same as Allah? Yes, it is. God, Jesus, Allah, universe, Jehovah. It's all the same as universe. There is many names, but there's only one God. And you guys have to understand that. My first live. Welcome for being here. Um, I think you're fa oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Fabulous. Thank you. So are you. I'm blessed and my family is blessed. Blessings to you. Have a great day. I want to say have a great day to a lot of people. And I also want to say before I end, I want to say again, thank you, Carlton Atkins, for always being here um, and giving a donation. I want to also thank... Um, Kat, for, thank you for the donation. Lovely styles and peace and blessings to you, my sister. I want to thank Ayana Nagna Contreras. Thank you for the super chat again. Um, thank you, Annette DeCombre. And I want to thank Tamara McCarthy. I want to thank so many of you guys for giving. And I want to thank you and I want you to enjoy your day. I wanted this to be a little, little shorter, but it still ran over. Again, this is a live Sunday and blessings to you all. And thank you. I'm about to end. And don't forget, consciousness is all that there is, as spoken by Neville Goddard.